There are four changes to the pack who lost to San Diego last week. Cobb replaces Lyndon Muth at loose head prop. Momsen steps in for Den Hood at lock. Mano Redingles gets another chance to impress at flanker, as does Ronan Murphy at number eight in place of Gideon Van Fake. And three changes to the back line sees the return of Andre Warner at scrum half. Tassi replaces Van der Scaife at outside centre, and Davy Kutzer wears the 15 jersey instead of Drew Wilde today. All led by Pote Human, of course, head coach of the Houston Sabercats. Lucas Burr returns, moving Sam Goller from lock to flanker in place of Ronan Foley. And Marcus Falau steps into number eight for Sam Tuifua. Four changes also to the back line. Houston Sabercats in the black and yellow kit will get us started. I'm Wendy Young, joined by Mark Strabina, and we are ready for this MLR Conference semifinal preview. These teams will play again in a matter of weeks more than anyone else in the league and the most tries from Moles and they need to cut down their penalty count especially Tank in defense as they've given away the second good. most offensive penalties That's in the right. league for Dallas oh, one of the reasons oh, oh. they've scored the most tries in the league wow speaking of tries here's Houston now crossing the line yeah and the mall didn't quite get going so they had to slide through no. nice little step there by the flanker Nassim Genge left right left right now the backs forwards in the line Always treacherous, yeah, gonna take it from the base. The hooker, he's in the open, finding some support. Now the big lock, getting over Justin Besson. Scoring for Houston's second try. Now Nassim Genge, he's had a lot of activity in this no, first half already. Jackals even being told no, and he's crawling all over the place. Gonna go quick, the scrum half Warner, all the way to the line in Houston. Scoring again for a third try. Penalties mounting now for Dallas. Look at Warner, so quick. Takes it on the mark, try time. Looked almost like a front line of football there. As you can see, the captain, Momossum, he'll come in and, and shove him over. <laughs> Momsen, Johan Momsen, 6'5", 249 pounds, could be an O-line successful at it yeah i think that's probably what's so shocking and you know especially their last meeting with two again right three points separated them and now we've got three tries for houston as they go from the line out they're going all the way across the field quits her little rubber through oh beauty of a bounce for dyer he picks it up and touches it down the usa international christian dyer getting it done for Houston for their fourth try. Ah, oh, just sublime play from the back. See the vision of Kutza. We've seen it time and time again. Alatimi with the quick ball. Kutza had to reach above his head and then reset. And then look at that, pinpoint accurate. Dyer almost knew exactly where that ball was gonna be and he made sure that he was there to collect. Number two. Collect the five points. That's a beauty, and Dyer worked all the way yeah, across so the field for that. Giving away penalties down here. Yes. The top for Dallas. Inside center, he's flanked by a couple forwards and gets that offload to the flanker. What a dummy that is! Benjamin Fry is going to fly over and get the Jackals' first points of the game. That is a big score if they want to try to catch this Houston side. Dallas from the line out. This was a beauty. He's been fantastic. Camp Villalobos. And then the little break. It was Kubija getting through. And what about the dummy? Ben Fry. Ball in two hands. Kids, if you're watching, that's how it's done. Great angle here to see. Had he tucked the ball under the arm, would have been easier to know that he was going to try and take that ball to the try line. On inside center there, Kubiak coming out stronger. A little hitch from Winchester. He didn't have as much as he thought. Now the offload, though, to the eight. On the front foot are the Jackals now. Winchester outside center to the inside center. Kubia across the line. Marcus Kubia makes it more real that the comeback is on and it starts with the line out. It's a good take by Gomez Vara. Now the mall. It's gotten a little static. Let's see if they can get organized again. There it goes. They throw the bodies in. Ball at the back. Now the backs are getting in. Look at the effort. It's the replacement. Rahooker now it's on a train and a score there. They absolutely needed that. Good defense by Houston so far. Now gonna go out, longer pass there. 
Horkata, two meters are the Jackals. They need this. Gonna go to the right side. Fry all the way out to the fullback. Oh, and he has the great presence of mind to try to bring that in as far as he can. Tomas Malinos with the score for the Jackals. Well defended by Houston, brought it down. The hustle, the Hari Basson combining with Kutza to stop that original effort. And then it comes back down the short side. Quick hands, Fry with his hands on it again. Milanos, well, he knows how to score a try. This young man scored plenty in his MLR career. And you saw David Kutzer there just... For the win, David Kutzer puts it through. Absolute closer. The Houston Sabercats survive a late challenge from the Jackals. An absolute gutsy three points are all that Houston scored in that second half.